Hello everyone, this is Mark Leibovit from the Leibovit VR Newsletters, but you can still find me at vrtrader.com. That links through the Leibovit VR Newsletters, as you know, for oh, a good part of uh, 20 years. Uh, VR Trader was the uh, call for my research. Before that, it was uh, Volume Reversal Survey or vrsurvey.com. But we've gone through a bit of evolution, but basically surrounding my VR Volume Reversal Indicator. Well, this is a tutorial here on eSignal. And I uh, just want to introduce my newsletter to you. So in case you want to find us um, and see our research, you can. Silver is our daily market commentary letter. You can sign up at, again, vrtrader.com, which will link through to Leibovitz VR newsletters. Our VR Platinum posts specific recommendations in addition to the commentary. Our gold letter covers many of the commodities, including uh, crude oil, gold, silver, platinum, palladium, and so forth. Our annual forecast model is our annual cyclical report put out every year in early February. Our vice letter covers everything from tobacco stocks, alcohol, down to the uh, cannabis plays, and we've been trading a few of those, so you should sign up to the vice letter and take a look. Of course, if you're interested in my technical work and my book, the Trader's Book of Volume is the place to go. It is available on the internet at Amazon. There's also a, a Chinese version uh, available, but you have to contact us and I'd have to put you in touch with the publishers in China for that. Uh, the uh, Leibovit uh, VR indicator, Leibovit volume reversal is available here on eSignal. There is a trial offered, a free trial offered. Uh, there are three versions of the indicator. I use the directional version um, only occasionally. I prefer the sequential, which is what we see here on these videos. Uh, the directional, as you see highlighted on the screen, filters out repetitive volume reversals, but I like to see the, uh, I like to see every volume reversal, so we show the um, sequential. There's also a two-day version, which works on the premise, as you probably know from previous videos, that when a volume reversal is generated, we tend to get movement in the direction of the volume reversal for a couple days. So it, it pretty much just pinpoints two-day exit points. Could be two bars, but we call it a two-day indicator. So uh, for the purpose of these presentations, it is sequential. We decide to look at the Chinese market uh, on this video since there's been so much talk about it this past week and there was such a dramatic move to the upside. This uh, chart is of the FXI, which is the iShares of China large cap ETF. And as you can see here on this daily chart, it exploded to the upside here this past week, got quite extended. Uh, just before the advance, we had two positive volume reversals. You can see here one on March 27th, and there was a nice move there, gap up, couple day trade. And uh, at that point, there was a rising stochastic. Stochastic never turned down. There was another one here on the um, on April 1st. So uh, explosive move here to the upside, very extended. Uh, gaps that I think you know should or could be uh, filled, so I wouldn't be chasing it right now. Let's look at the um, weekly chart to get a perspective of uh, where this uh, ETF has come from. Let's see, you're scanning way back here. Uh, it's going to take a second for it to load. There it goes. So uh, there's a lot of noise on the screen because of all the uh, volume reversals. But, you know, let's see here. Way back on October 29, 2007, it traded as high as $73. And then it traded as low as 1935 back on October 27th, 2008. And since then, the highest rally point, let's see here, is 47.99. And that was on November 8th, 2010. So that's a pullback number, that 47.99. So um, let's go back to the uh, daily chart. So that would tell me... Uh, that we should get a retracement to that 47.99, which would be somewhere in here, which would you know try to fill that gap. So the fact that old high it was way back there, I think that's a reasonable shot that you'll see a pullback to that level. And there might be still more of a trade here since there's so much momentum in the FXI at the moment. So um, unless we generate a negative VR here and the stochastic turns down, uh, which it might, but uh, in the absence of that, if we get a low volume pullback and you get back to one or more of these gaps, there's probably a little bit of a play there. But as you can see, the VRs did signal the move. And even back here, uh, this is back on March 2nd, a leave of a negative VR was formed, and you did have a downtrending stochastic, and you did have a nice trade to the downside. So momentum follows nicely here 
with the VRs, which is the whole purpose of me showing you these volume reversals. This is what they are. They're short-term trading indicators telling you there's more buyers or sellers. And again, just as a reminder, the stochastic, I use a 5-3-3 stochastic in determining, uh, you know, looking for confirmation. I like to see a rising stochastic with a positive VR and a downtrending stochastic, as you can see here in this negative example, when uh, we get a negative signal. So uh, thank you for uh, checking in. Again, uh, here at eSignal, a uh, one-month free trial is offered, so I encourage you to sign up. Thanks again. We'll catch you on the next update. This is Mark Leibovitz signing off.